Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to this course on algorithmic patterns for coding interview problems. In this course, I will teach you how to recognize and understand common patterns seen in coding interview problems. With an understanding of all of these patterns combined with an understanding of big O and data structures, you will significantly you will significantly increase your chances of being able to solve coding interview problems. This course is heavily inspired by the Leak Code Patterns repository, which I've provided a link for in the description below. I hope to be able to simplify the patterns used to solve the problems within this repository to further prepare those of you that follow along with this course for coding interviews. The recommended way to make use of this course is to use this course as a reference when actually solving the leak code problems in the leak code patterns list. That's because these problems are grouped based on the patterns taught in this course. In order to focus on repeatedly applying and seeing common patterns rather than just randomly tackling leak code problems. Of course, you can just skip doing the problems altogether and just learn the patterns, but to solidify the patterns in your mind, just like anything else, it's going to be best for you to practice what you've learned. Therefore, I recommend at least solving the easy and medium problems for each individual pattern. And we're actually going to go over a few problems for each pattern. So. I'll essentially walk you through some of the problems as well. It's also recommended that you use my Big O series or any Big O resource as a supplemental resource to follow along with this course as I will be touching on Big O time and space complexity as we go through solving these problems. And even within the problems, when I do touch on Big O time and space complexity, I will give you a detailed explanation of how things are working. So I hope to be able to keep this course relatively beginner friendly. And by beginner friendly, I mean that you have some knowledge of a programming language or some experience with a programming language, but you don't necessarily have much experience with producing and analyzing algorithms. My primary goal with this course is to make available a resource for learning and and recognizing these patterns available online free to those that are determined to learn the necessary skills to do well in an interview. In my opinion, some of the paid resources available online that focus on this topic in particular are... I haven't really seen any resource that... But I also haven't seen every paid resource available online, so... No need to destroy me in the comments. Anyways, I hope that this resource can be helpful to you all. And without further ado, let's get started. 